Welcome everyone. Welcome back to the Ebb and Scape. I hope you are liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. And if you are, awesome. If you are not, please do so. Every little thing you do help, every little like, every little share, it helps. So today on the Ebb and Scape, let me get a little bit closer. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm going to have an intimate conversation right now about something that's been bothering me. So I've done a video on Bridgerton already, uh, how to classify Bridgerton. It's kind of a ramble because I almost never write anything, anything down. And it's just, you know, it's just me going off. Um, but what I wanted to say about Bridgerton, not necessarily Bridgerton, but something that's been bothering me about the show. It's the casting of the actress Golda Rashevel. I hope I'm saying that um, correctly. I really hope I am. And Golda, Golda plays Queen Charlotte in Bridgerton. Now, if you've seen the show, you know what I mean. The problem I have with Golda, hmm, well, let's see. Queen Charlotte was a real person. <laughs> this is very important. Queen Charlotte was a real person. You can see there by the videos that I have put up that Queen Charlotte was very much a real person. And the problem with Golda playing Queen Charlotte is that Golda is actually biracial from Guyana. She was born to a black Guyanese father a, uh, and a white English mother. Um, She's biracial. Queen Charlotte was a white English queen consort who was born in 1744. She uh, married the king, George, in 1761, very young. She went on to give birth to 15 children. Not all of them survive, tragic, but that's the reality. So Queen Charlotte, is actually white. She is mainly like many of the royal families in Europe at that time. She was of Germanic heritage. This is important because for some reason, and by some reason, I mean there is an agenda here. And the agenda is kind of simple. Certain people are claiming that Queen Charlotte is a black or was a black woman. Yeah, that's a far stretch because, you know, in in 1770, in 1761, the British people would have been totally okay with their king marrying a visibly black woman. <sighs> sigh. Sigh, sigh, sigh. But this is what they're trying to claim, that Queen Charlotte was a black woman. She was not. Queen Charlotte, the rumors of Queen Charlotte's blackness started in 1940 and this has only sped up it's only gotten out of control so if you've seen the most dominant image of queen charlotte on the web actually is a portrait of queen charlotte that purports to show a black woman or so a woman black african features and if you read a lot of it some of it is is very insulting so the the rumors were started by a jamaican american writer named j.a rogers in his book sex and race volume one and in it he describes he suggests that she must have had a negro strain no kidding according to him because her broad nostrils and heavy lips as depicted in the 1761 portrait by alan ramsey who by the way was a scottish abolitionist with an agenda and um there is a quote by horace walpole in which he describes her nostrils spread into wide mouth has the same fault this claim expanded over time and to rumors that she had African ancestry, which itself is very tenuous. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> and it's very caricature, you know. Um, in 1810, supposedly Christian Frederick, the Baron of Stockmar, suggested that Charlotte was small and crooked with a true mulatto face. 
And this just further fuel claims that she was mixed race, even though no one really considered her mixed race at the time. In 1999, Mario de Valdez Icocom, wow, what a name, expanded previous claims in a website developed for PBS Frontline, which is an American um, network and TV show. Valdez claimed that Charlotte had an unmistakable African appearance and Negroid physiognomy, very primitive terms, <laughs> that she, the result of that her Negroid physiognomy the type of stuff you read about in race books written like in the 1800s that she this was a result of distant african ancestry valdez cited as evidence the 1761 alan ramsey portrait again alan ramsey was the scottish abolitionist <laughs> he claimed that but he takes it further this guy actually created a genealogy of charlotte and in his genealogy he claimed that charlotte had that charlotte had a distant ancestor named margarita de castro Esuza, who was a 15th century portuguese noblewoman and who traced her ancestry to king to king alfonso the third of portugal who lived in the 13th century so i think it's 1210 to 1279 and he also claimed and also one of the mistresses one of his mistresses a woman named madragana who was supposedly um was from a black branch of the portuguese royal house there's no evidence that they necessarily um put forward to back up these claims about the D'Souza family. Valdez E. Kukum's theory is supposedly a bit creative. <laughs> and um, he was literally using Ramsey's portrait, and I'll get to Ramsey a little bit, to pro as proof that Charlotte was black. And again, the problem with Ramsey's portrait is it's the dominant portrait that exists of Charlotte. So if you go to Google and you type in Queen Charlotte images, it's Ramsey's portrait that comes up. Now, Ramsey was in fact an abolitionist. That meant he was someone who was very much about ending slavery. And he painted Charlotte to basically play up what he thought were her black features and send it to the Americas and all over in an effort to persuade people to end slavery. That was his agenda. That was his agenda. There are plenty other portraits of Charlotte. The majority of Charlotte's portrait portrays a pale skin, very European looking woman. But these portraits are not the dominant portraits of Charlotte that you can find online. The dominant portraits are the ones that supposedly shows her black ancestry or her black features. This is absurd, of course, but many black people have latched onto it. <laughs> Um, but going back a little bit to Charlotte, there is no actual evidence that Charlotte's distant ancestor Margarita de Castro Esuza was black or from a black Portuguese noble family or that even her distant ancestor Magdragena or Magdragana was um, Mozarab. Well, she was described as Mozarab, not Moorish. And even so, <laughs> Moorish is not necessarily the same as black. While there were some black people who were called Moors, and not all Moors were black. So there's no real evidence to, to play into any of this that, again, Margarita or Magdra Magdragana was black. It's assuming that because someone is from North African, it means they're, they were black. But there are more things going on here. Um, even if you were to look at the genealogy chart, and I have, I will put the chart up in a bit, and maybe I, I'll put it up right now, but if you look at the genealogy chart, both of these would show Charlotte to have very distant black ancestry. Let's say both these women were black. That would still put Charlotte's black African ancestry as between six and ten generations removed, which would mean Charlotte would have no more black ancestry than the average white person which is about one to three percent um so it doesn't make any sense to classify queen charlotte as black because no one legitimately believed queen charlotte was a black woman 
And really, again, in 1761, when she was married the king from her very German family, and by the way, I'll put up portraits of bo both of her very, very, very white people. There is no guarantee that, you know, that there's no way that the British people would have been okay with their king marrying a black woman. There's no evidence that Charlotte was black. It makes little sense. That's the point. It makes little sense. So why do so many black people insist on retroactively making Queen Charlotte black? It's the same reason many black people claim Beethoven was black, based on similar ridiculous claims of him being described as having darker skinned or darker features, or a nose that was a little broad, or that he befriended a well-known black composer at the time. There is no evidence that Beethoven was black. There's also no evidence Cleopatra was black. And, you know, in the, it's not impossible, but in the absence of what we don't know, we stick to what we do know. And what we do know about Cleopatra, for example, was that she was born to an incestuous family where they marry each other. She was even married to her brother. So the notion that these people were black is absurd whoever else black people claim as black with no evidence i just want this nonsense to end that's all i just want this nonsense to end look don't come at me don't blah 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 don't come at me don't come at me don't blah 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 but like my video blah 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 queen charlotte